Hello, Victoria. How are you guys doing tonight? I, uh, part of being a stand-up comedian is you fly a lot. I think the only thing you can say worse than peanut on a plane is bomb. Because this guy freaked out. He's like, you can't have peanuts on a plane. People could die. I was like, well, just the peanut people. <laughs> but yeah, you can't kill me with a peanut, right? <laughs> At least on a plane, there's definitely not enough peanuts on a plane to kill me for sure, right? Maybe if you put me in the bottom of a grain silo and began to fill it with peanuts, <laughs> you might get me depending on how well I can climb that day, but... I'm basically pretty peanut-proof on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> like, you can take me to a baseball game and everything, I'm fine. <laughs> right? But that's where we are in society. Over the last 25 years, we know that there's peanut people out there. <laughs> so we know you can't have peanuts on planes and that. But I think the peanut people uh, were always around. <laughs> yeah, but we just didn't know it. Right? Like, like, I think back in the day, some guy ate, like, back in the dark ages, some guy ate a peanut, and he was like, nah, 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 and he went down. And people were like, holy fuck, Black Plague got him. <laughs> right, because there were so many things killing people back then, they didn't even think peanut was a possibility. <laughs> and, and then as we eradicated diseases, it slowly moved up the chart until one day a German scientist rubbed it on a guy and he exploded and he's like, it's a peanut, it's a killer! <laughs> because do you, do you remember there were no peanut people around and then they just slowly started appearing. Right, like the first time you, you met one was like in grade four. Right? Like some new kid moved to your school and they introduced him on day one. They're like, okay, this is Timmy. He's allergic to peanuts. Poor little guy, day one at school, he's surrounded by 28 kids with a lunch that can kill him. <laughs> and then the first thing that happened at recess was some kid rubbed a peanut butter sandwich in his face. <laughs> well, we just thought he'd sneeze like a cat allergy. We didn't know he's gonna fucking puff up and have to move again. <laughs> yeah, the peanut kid was always the new kid. He just had to keep moving until he came to a honey and jam town. But, but then we started thinking, oh, well, maybe we should help the peanut people, <laughs> right? So we decided to put um, warning labels on packages, uh, but we didn't go all in, <laughs> right? We just put may <laughs> contain peanuts. We're like, we're not really sure, but we're all pretty curious. But that was only working like 50-50. We were still losing like half the peanut people. So we got pretty serious about it. Science got involved. We invented EpiPens, right? So now the peanut people carry an EpiPen with them. And then if they have a peanut, they puff up. You shiv them with the EpiPen. They deflate. <laughs> right? Like the peanut people uh, have never lived this long. They are flourishing under these conditions. They are everywhere. They were this close to extinction. And now they outnumber the gingers. You've been a fantastic crowd for the rest of the show at the David Shredder.